Good evening from New York. I'm Chris Hayes. Hundreds of armed demonstrators faced off with the federal government in southern Nevada over the weekend. And the federal government blinked. Just another reminder that whether or not the law is enforced depends on who you are and whether or not you have the right-wing media on your side. Battle of big government versus the rancher. It's big government versus the rancher, and Mr. Bundy is not backing down. When push comes to shove, when it comes to the Constitution, uh, folks aren't going to back down. I'll be honest. We saw what happened at, at Waco and the Branch Davidians. I'm concerned. Right now, the biggest story in the right-wing media is the face-off between federal agents and this man, Nevada rancher Cliven Bundy. America better wake up if we're going to live in this country with any kind of freedom and liberty. Mr. Bundy owns around 500 head of cattle. They've grazed on this plot of land in southern Nevada for decades. But Bundy doesn't own that land. The federal government does. And in order to graze cattle on federal land, managed by the Bureau of Land Management, you have to pay land use fees. Bundy stopped paying those fees in 1993. He now owes the government over $1 million. You see, Bundy doesn't think the federal government owns the land. In fact, he doesn't recognize the federal government at all. I abide by all of Nevada state laws, but I don't recognize the United States government as, as, as even existing. The courts disagree with Mr. Bundy's reading of the Constitution and have ordered him to pay for his use of the land like every other rancher does. Last year, a federal district court ruled that the BLM was entitled to seize and remove Bundy's cattle. He owes the American people $1 million because he has not obeyed the laws. Earlier this month, the BLM started rounding up some of Bundy's cattle that illegally graze on federal lands. No BLM! No BLM! On Wednesday, a confrontation between Bundy family members and supporters and federal rangers went viral. Comply, comply! The feds say officers were assaulted and a police dog was kicked. <laughs> while Bundy family members allege they were thrown to the ground and also tased. Back up! Back up! We have always said that we will do whatever it takes. We've never defined that. And I think that's one of the reasons they're here with such force is they're scared of us. Within days, Bundy became a symbol of the fight against an out-of-control federal government. We need guns to protect ourselves from a tyrannical government. Hundreds of states' rights protesters flocked to Bunkerville, Nevada to support Bundy, many of them armed. I'm willing to lay my life down. The group shut down several lanes of a Nevada interstate and engaged in tense negotiations with federal law enforcement. <laughs> Protesters flooded this federal holding pen area, aiming to release Clive and Bundy's cattle. Push them back up off the gate for right now. Let me work with you and you. I'll allow you two to come in with me. That's no, it. It's the people or not, and you guys need to leave. Uh, push these people back so they can do it safely. Federal officers tried to bring the Bundys over the line to negotiate. I'll give you my honest word right here. I'm going to walk you in so you can negotiate with your father up top. Walking past armed BLM Rangers, the Bundys started talks about releasing the cattle and calming the crowd. But what I need you to do is to keep this crowd calm I will do above that. and below. After a days-long standoff with federal authorities, Clive and Bundy won the day. I only want to talk to one person in each county across the United States. And here's what I want to say. County Sheriff, disarm U.S. bureaucracy. This weekend, the BLM started to release Bundy's cattle and suspended their operation, citing safety concerns. In the meantime, Bundy has been elevated to hero status by Republican politicians. Out in Nevada today, federal agents are pointing rifles at American citizens in an escalation of a standoff over a man who for 20 years has grazed his cattle on some land that the state owns. For two decades, Cliven Bundy has gotten something for nothing. He's been an open violation of the law and owes the federal government over a million dollars. If all of that were true of someone else, conservatives would be calling him a freeloader.